but I did one. All right, Cuba, Cuba. Yeah, I seen you in practice. You were absolute garbage out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You told me you were an off-road guy. That should have been your hey, your bread and dude, butter. My freaking front brake was like locking up. Hey, no like... excuses. Cut the front brake line. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding you buzz okay okay so we didn't get the motos in just talking about the whole west coast thing then because uh you're privateering it uh you're an asian yeah <laughs> which is cool uh 25 asian uh, i did the west coast um it was pretty fun i was a little surprised about the tracks i thought it was going to be like way more like way bigger and way kind of a like wide tracks are more like the u.s but there's a lot of like bank turns instead of everything flat and the you know the wall burns yep, and yep. stuff um but no i had a Good first couple rounds had some kind of bad luck at the last couple, but um, did you have know, fun driving well, in the big black bus? The big black. The I mean, black you guys girl. are a bit of an eyesore on the pits. <laughs> like hey, seriously, if they would park us by all the fast guys, we would probably wrap it or something. But the black. You really girl, think that the black bus should be in the in the pits yes. against with everybody else? Why not? Yeah. What? Why not? Come on, beeps. It looks just as good as all the other rigs. The black bus, really? Black yes. Pearl. Do you want to come take a trip? Hey, account? I do do rig Let's walks. Hashtag Black Pearl Moto, dude. Black yeah. Pearl yeah. Moto. Yeah. Black Pearl Moto. Look Six. it up. Hashtag it. Where's Captain Jack? <laughs> Captain Somehow Jack. They put right him ahead of Look me. at this. Bla the this vet. is the, the, the complete vet. black bus. Dude, I got still. the vet. I beat the vet. You beat the vet? him ahead of me somehow. Why are you still in your gear? Let's look at lap times. Are you doing 50 class right now? Yeah. You're still in your gear. Are you sure? I'm ready for second <laughs> moto, bro. <laughs> Come on. Bergs, how'd your day go? Do Why don't you get up really? on the oh, get up on there and cut some uh, some beep tunes? No, do I really have to tell you how my day went? Well, if you don't want to tell me, I know that mess means shit. I had a 16 minute lap time. Does that count? <laughs> I laid in the mud and I literally Is that like ATV MX least like seven, eight laps right there, right? No, yeah. it was four. <laughs> Dude, I laid in the mud. Flagger wouldn't come help me because my bar was stuck into my hey, gear. Hey, no outside assistance. No, I know. I just laid in the mud and I just started digging out slowly. Just like, all right, whatever, you know. And then just full on doing deadlifts, lifting my bike. And Bill, I, I seen your bike come off. I'm in rough. A heap. I hate Bill. You're rough. Oh, Sorry, rough. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. you're 39 though. I'm 39. Yeah, okay, well I got the number right. You did. Give me yeah. a little credit. You had a, had a rough moto. You had, had a rough moto. A rough moto. Yeah, moto? yeah I, I seen you coming moto. off of the ATV. I got yeah, a good pick. Yeah, I was. I don't know what place I was in, but I was feeling good. And four corners from the finish line, I fried a clutch and uh, DNF'd. So. Okay, so the Black Pearl East. What's going on for the East? Are we? Is that thing like? Do it's we have happening. to? Do I have to call the Ontario government to allow you guys to come into the freaking province? <laughs> yeah, if we can get out of here, we'll go. Yeah. No, no, you're we stuck. Can get out of here. Hit the bar because you're stuck. You're not going anywhere it's right now. It's a boat, though, dude. I mean, okay. we can sail yeah, out of this shit. Hopefully, the rain again. It's the Black Pearl. Okay, you're not getting out right now. You're cut from that for sure. Quit looking at that. <laughs> Cuba, pleasure chatting. These guys cut you off. Yeah. Hey, Black Pearl, coming east. We're Don't coming screw east. around. Leave the Asian at home. I am staying. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Is, Bring though. him along, man. Maybe he'll get you a government grant or something back home. Government grant. <laughs> All right, boys. <laughs> Super cross. Yeah. All right, cheers, my friend. Uh, we just finished up a bit of a, a muddy day. Talk yeah. to me about it. I haven't got to catch up with you yet, man. First off, glad to have you up here. Love it. And then just tell me about the nonsense today, buddy. Oh, no, for, happy to be up here. You know, it's good. Uh, I haven't been out here on the West Coast before, but, you know, it's good. It's good to race different tracks. I'm happy to be racing. I'm racing a dirt bike, you know, so it's all, all good. And uh, frustrating start to the season, though. So, like I said, it's been up and down. I'm pumped to be racing, pumped to be here, but frustrating start. Just a little trouble with the bike a little bit here and there. Didn't get to do much testing with the team a little bit before we started. So I think we're, we're in a good place now. I think the bike's getting pretty good. Rode good today. Rode good the last couple of weeks. Just haven't got the results there. And I was hurt last year for the whole outdoor season. So I haven't raced outdoors in like two years, no, since 2012. So struggling a little bit, but we're getting going. I think the two-week break will help me a little bit. I'll probably race in the U.S. at least one of the weekends and uh, come back strong at Gopher, I think. It's usually a good track for me. So. Sand, yeah. So yeah, I'm looking yeah, you beat me by it. a minute the last time we were there. <laughs> hey, but you got second. Yeah, cheers, cheers. All right, yeah, Digger. Um, I want to know how it went from your weekend in the dozer and start. Oh, uh, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> I had uh, about 15 different people tell me to do the track 15 different ways, and that made it a little bit tough because everybody's stopping you nonstop, asking how you're going to do something or what you should do, and. And that you're not a jerk. You're not going to say, hey, dude, screw off. This is my job. Get not out of here. Not at first, but maybe after a little while because it gets kind of But annoying. that's okay, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Everybody wants to give their input. But then at the same time, the way I want to move the track is, in the end, it's it's Mark's series, and uh, he decides how the track should be done. So I know certain people are questioning certain sections getting ripped and stuff, but that's the way he wanted it done when he saw that the uh, amount of rain got lowered a lot for Friday. And 
uh, obviously ended up raining a lot on Friday, so Mark probably took a little bit of a gamble on wanting to do the track a certain way, and it didn't uh, didn't work out. Sometimes that's the way it goes. Well, all, all right, T Angles. Beebs doesn't do uh, birthday parties. Don't ask him to do that. No. Um, did you have fun today? You got a smile going. You're always smiling. Why are, are you kind of slow or something? Because you're always smiling. How do you love this? <laughs> Alright, how'd it go? Come on, seriously. Let's talk. How'd it go, my friend? Come on. I'm going good, dude. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Where Freak. was the gate Sorry, drop in the, the whole shot? Yeah, the gate. I just didn't quite get the jump. Didn't quite, I mean, I was still a pretty good start, and then I went down first lap and uh, lost my goggles first lap. I and, saw that. Yeah, and just, you know, tried to do my best to stay up, put her inside the top ten. Uh, could have been worse, so. Are you yeah. going home from here or then right east? I actually, I fly back to Kamloops because my van's up there, and then I'm driving home, and then I'm going to fly east right before Gopher. All right, Topher, we'll see you at Gopher. Hey, thanks, dude. I love the rhyme. DK almost took my money today. Uh, I you thought did I pretty, did. You did a good job today, my friend. Just uh, talking about the racing side of it and everything. Team Eggs! And uh, talking about just how the little way went. Uh, it went pretty good. I mean, to come out of here with a seventh, I know that's exactly where I've been finishing, but I can't complain. Uh, bike survived just, <laughs> and my knee's still somewhat intact. And you know, all in all, the track was basically survival. Everyone was cutting, me included. Like I, every, yep. we're all guilty, and I couldn't pick my bike up without outside assistance. It was, it was basically a race of survival, and everyone was cutting the track and. It, it is what it is. We got the one moto done, and I'm super glad we called it because it was absolutely unsafe, and it wasn't really even a track. There was a guideline of a track, and uh, we're going east. I'm going to lay down some hard work over these next few breaks or this next break, and uh, I mean, I'm going to come out swinging in the east. I'm not here to be a top 10 guy, so we're going to make things happen on the east, and that's my home, my home area. And, uh, and you I mean, want look, my money. Yeah, I want your money, and you're going to see the 31 in the top five. Cheers, I'm buddy. off. You're first in line. Rock star today. All right, talk to me about the day, because you hit the box, which is nice. Box but you probably should have won. I know. The box is good. I uh, got off to a great start. Obviously, we had a sick line going on that left side on the grass. So is that something you've known like before? No, honestly, <laughs> nobody ever starts over there in Provincials. But luckily, the right side was full of water, and we were able to you know, get a good... Uh, Gate pick with the second qualifier, so um, yeah, just got off. Are to a you good stressing start. right now? Why are you rubbing your no, forehead? I'm not stressing. I'm just thinking. You can't. You're not gonna. If, if you rub your head, it's not. Your hair's not gonna grow back. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, it was a good race. Made a mistake uh, in the back section. Just lost the front end, but uh, I was able to salvage a second. So Palm just made some good points. And, I think you're only nine out now. I think. Yeah, we're looking forward to the East Coast and see what we can do out there. I haven't done one of these with you. How'd it go today, buddy? Wait, let's turn this way. The wind's kind of in our face. Let's turn this way a little bit. Uh, it wasn't too, too good. Uh, about 20th. Uh, I got a lot of mud on top of my helmet. It was kind of dragging my helmet down. You're going to work on the neck, mu neck muscles? Yeah. No, I was trying to ride <laughs> like this. Trying to keep it up. But, uh, other than that, I survived. I guess. Cool. You got some points? Yeah. Cool, buddy. Hey, so, Van, Here's I haven't talked to you on one of these yet. This is my how to go weekend. I just want to know uh, how the day went for you. It was a gnarly one here today at Regina. And just give me your thoughts. It was pretty rough because I didn't have any water to wash the bike or anything, so it was kind of a rush between the practice and the moto. So I crashed on the start, I had to take off the goggles, so it was pretty hard. I came back from last 14, just tried to salvage the bike and just finish the moto, but it was not a good day. So. Are you happy with the way the West went? Not really, I did one good race because everything went well and the fewer race, some things happened, some bad luck. and. I cannot figure it out between the motor, it was too late and I was alone, so I kind of struggled a little bit. So I'm not really happy, but it's the way it is going to be better at East, I think so. so. You'll, uh, you might actually have some help at the East? Yeah, we'll have some help for the East. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, good on to being a privateer, buddy. Yeah, thank you, bud. If you want. You smile. All right, Swanson, how'd it go, my friend? Uh, we only got one moto in today and haven't got a chance to catch up with you yet. It's been an up and down sort of season, but yeah. uh, give me your thoughts now that we're heading East. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually not too bad. I'm not too upset with how the you know the West Coast went. I really wanted, uh, always I expected a little bit more, and I don't think that I didn't deliver more of myself. I think we just came into a few problems with you know the new team and getting everything together and and bike problems. We had a few and a blue back wheel out and an IMO, so we ended out a little short. But I think we made up for it here at the end, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know 
I was actually really happy with today in the mud. Um, like, you, like you said, you know, the second moto was canceled and it didn't even rain anymore after the first. So you can only imagine how muddy the first moto was. So for my short legs and myself and what I've done in mud before, I was really happy with the seventh. And uh, I, made a, I made a lot of points up on some people that were unfortunate and had some bike problems. So as the end of the season came down, it worked out the way we wanted it to and we're sitting where we would like to be at the end of the year to possibly in for the championship. But I'm really excited for the, the East Coast because that's, that's, that's Texas soil. That's some sand and that's all we know. So this black rutted dirt, it's not California. That's not us. So we're ready. Cool, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I keep talking to you. I always just like it. I enjoy it. We're, we're falling here now. All right. Uh, Give me your scoop, your thoughts, second spot, so a solid day. Um, let me ask you, actually, you're a gnarly racer. Yay or nay, if it was your call to go racing in the second moto? Um, the only issue, concern I had was about the bike. Um, that was the only thing I was worried about. I, I mean, the track is drying up, at, and it was a bit better. Uh, but the, 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 old, the whole far section was literally unrideable. Like, I was lucky to even get through. I don't even know how I didn't fall. I literally would... Go through that section and say, here we go, and just twist her. Just like a twister. <laughs> and hang on. <laughs> and I would just get I would just get through and then and it's like, oh man, you just shake your head, but it, it was getting so sticky, the bike. The, the, yeah, like I said, the what I worried about the most was the bike, because I don't know, even know if like I would have had time to they would have had time to get it ready. Like it was it was messed and the, I know I was swinging off the clutch just to hang on to the thing. Full monkey. Oh yeah, no feet on the pegs. Just you just hold it wide open and hang, hang on. Just hope to God that you got through. Do you want to say thank you to Heidi for letting you come out? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Heidi. <laughs>